ए पावर एन डब्लू ए पावर एन एंड डब्लू डब्लू बिलोंग्स टू ए कोमा बी स्टार ओके दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट इज गिवन टू यू कैन आई से एल इज नॉट रेगुलर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज योर लैंग्वेज ए पावर एन डब्लू ए पावर एन वेयर एन इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन डब्लू इज डब्लू बिलोंग्स टू ए कोमा बी होली स्टार नाउ हियर सम स्टूडेंट्स वॉट दे विल थिंक सम स्टूडेंट्स विल थिंक देर इज ए पावर एन देर इज ए पावर एन देर इज कंपेरिजन यस और नो देर इज ए पावर एन ए पावर एन देर इज कंपेरिजन अनलिमिटेड कंपेरिजन देर इज अनलिमिटेड कंपेरिजन सो बिकॉज देर इज अ कंपेरिजन सो एल इज नॉट रेगुलर सो एल इज नॉट रेगुलर एंड लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज नॉन सेंस इफ यू आर थिंकिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज रॉन्ग फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज आई ऑलवेज टेल यू वट आई टेल यू अरे फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज ओके बिफोर फाइंडिंग इज दिस रेगुलर और नॉट फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड लैंग्वेज सो वॉट इज लैंग्वेज एल Which strings belong to L? Which strings do not belong to L? First, you understand. Yes or no? So you tell me. What is this language? Can anyone tell me? What is this language? See, very simple. W is any binary string. Yes or no? W is any binary string over a comma b. Now the question is saying n is greater than equal to one. N is greater than equal to one. Now you can easily see that all the strings which start with a and end with a, they will belong to L. In the L. i am telling you if you start with a if you end with a you can do anything you want here you can do anything you want here this string will belong to l okay basically basically just take n equal to 1 just to take n equal to 1 okay so all these strings will belong to l right so first of all all these strings will belong to l also in this language l only these strings will belong okay so this is the point is this clear i am telling you that whatever string i give you for example let me give you this string okay just tell me this string belongs to l or not a power 3 b b b a power 2 this string will belong to l or not just tell me this string does it belong to l or not does it belong to l let me know a power n w a power n n is greater than equal to 1 where w is a binary string you tell me this string will belong to l or not this string yes it will belong to l because who see if you are doing like this this is w who told you to take this as w yes or no see if you are taking this as w and you are saying that this string does not belong to l who told you to take this as w who told you what you can do here here you can do like this you can take n equal to 1 in this language you can take n equal to 1 because n is greater than equal to 1 so you can take n equal to 1 so basically this link this string you can write like this this is string the same string i can write like this yes or no a a b b b a so very simple so basically this will become your w this is a power n w a power n so this string will belong to l yes or no is this clear so first you understand the language without understanding the language don't solve the question Okay did you understand this final language what is the language here so here you can notice the language is basically the regular expression is starting with a ending with a and here you can put anything here you can put anything a a plus b whole star okay so this is the regular expression for this language this is the regular expression so because you have a regular expression because regular expression exist regular expression exist for l so l is regular so l is regular is this clear let me know so this is another beautiful question i hope you understood okay so please don't do this that okay there is comparison here a power n a power n we have to compare there is there will be comparison and because of this comparison because of this comparison it will be this l will be not regular so please don't do this okay so please understand the language first this language is given to you first you understand which strings belong to l which strings do not belong to l so you can see in this language l you have all these strings which start with a and which end with a and in the between in between you can put anything so all these strings these strings will belong to l so you can see for example this string this will belong to l this string is going to belong to l okay the reason is very simple just take n equal to 1 
because n is greater than equal to 1 so just take n equal to 1 so you can write it this same string you can write a power 1 and this you can take as w a power 1 so you can see this string will belong to the language l 